On September 20th, 2024, Champ searched President Katie Elizabeth aboard her research vessel Kelpie 2, which was outfitted with an array of cutting-edge sonar and hydrophone equipment, captured echolocation clicks similar to dolphin and orca echolocation. Although she does not believe these animals are a cetacean species, this ability could have developed over time through evolutionary adaptation. There is a unique signature in this echolocation recording that has not been captured in previous recordings. There is a distinct buzzing sound, which is a complicated harmonic structure heard in several cetacean species before catching prey. Here are some comparisons. Atlantic white-sided dolphin. Lagenahenkus acutus. Orca, or Chinus orca, or killer whale. Beluga whale, Delphinapterus lucas. This is not the first time echolocation has been recorded in Lake Champlain. Katie has previously recorded similar echolocation recordings, which have been analyzed by scientists for the History Channel, Discovery Channel, Science Channel, as well as by scientists in Japan, and stated authentic and unlike any species known to be in a freshwater lake. She has recorded known fish that inhabit Lake Champlain and man-made sounds that do not fit into the category of what has been recorded in this recording signature. Katie Elizabeth has done extensive bioacoustics work with cetaceans, whales and dolphins, and manatees, recording their sounds in the North Atlantic and off the Florida coast, studying the known fish sounds in Lake Champlain and sounds made by man. Here are some recordings of known fish and man-made sounds that are not comparable to the echolocation recordings captured. Sturgeon thunder, vocalizations, Lake Sturgeon. Asipensa fulvescens. Freshwater drum. Sheephead. Aplodinotus grunians. Alwife. Allosa pseudoharangus. An orchestra of common fish that inhabit Lake Champlain. Man made sound of a boat motor. There is, in fact, an unknown species echolocating in Lake Champlain. Hopefully, by using more and more advanced technology in the years to come, it will be proven to science as a catalogued species. <laughs>